Start by mixing your resin in a large reusable cup. I'm now pouring 150 milliliters of resin into the center of a plastic sheet. Use a large paddle pop stick to spread the resin to the edges. Now I'm pouring an inch of resin into a cup and adding the pigment Dream House by Faux Rizzle, followed by Brie Reese Alcohol Ink in the color Neon Pink. Mix thoroughly. Now I'm adding the color Grimace, followed by Alcohol Ink by Brie Reese in the color Purple. I don't want to tint the resin too much, so I'm just using four to five drops. This is added to about an inch of resin. With the leftover resin, I'm now using alcohol ink in the color Ocean Green. I'm not adding pigment to this, so to keep the color rich, I'm adding about 10 drops. Starting with Ocean Green, pour a ring around your resin. <laughs> that was a tongue twister. Now pour a ring of purple. Followed by your neon pink. Use your heat gun to gently go over the resin. This will bring any bubbles to the surface. And now for one of my favorite steps. Use a skewer to blend the colors into each other. I also do this for the beautiful pattern. Depending on how much you heat your resin with the heat gun depends on how much it will keep the shape. I'm now adding some large iridescent glitter and pushing it into the resin with a paddle pop stick. Here's some sparkly angles. For this particular piece, I left it four and a half hours. You want your resin to be firm but tacky. You also want the resin to have cured enough so that it isn't dripping off the plastic, as this will cause thick and thin areas. When shaping your resin, roll your fingers off rather than pull them, as this will cause peaks in your resin. When you're happy with your shape, place a piece of plastic on, your, on the top, that's another tongue twister, followed by something heavy. I will leave this for 12 hours or overnight. I don't want my resin to cure 100% because it can be hard to get the plastic out. Pull the plastic back and the rest should follow. If it is stuck, you can use a heat gun to soften things, but be careful not to melt the plastic. And there you have it, your coral inspired resin sculpture. If you'd like to see more splashes of color, follow me on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok under Julia Dover Art. If you give this a go, I'd love to see it. So don't forget to tag me.